So I was just sitting here building a website, enjoying my coffee, and I got wind that the Astro theme has now been banned from the WordPress repository, affecting more than 1 million users. Now in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about why they got banned, but I'm also gonna give you a big rant about how WordPress just has always done just a lousy job, a terrible job at managing the WordPress repository. So uh, just to let you know that if you go to the back end of WordPress and you go to the, uh, the themes, and you type in Astra, you will no longer see Astra because it has been removed from the WordPress repository. Now you can still go ahead and download Astra from their website and you also still give updates uh, for the theme. Now let's talk about why Astra has been banned. So now before I talk about that, a lot of other plugins and theme companies violate the rules and WordPress has had a long history of doing absolutely nothing to enforce it. I mean, the WordPress repository, it's like the wild west. Whatever you can get away with, Developers will do it. So the Astro theme has been banned because um, they inserted an affiliate link that links to WP Forms. If someone were to click on that link and purchase WP Forms, then Astra would then receive a commission. Now for um, submitting your WordPress theme to wordpress.org, that is against the rules. You cannot have affiliate links inside of WordPress themes. But I'll, I'll touch base on that a bit because we're gonna expose some other companies that are doing the same thing Astro is doing. So we're gonna take them all down in this video. But here is the official WordPress statement and just check this out. So 18 months ago, 18 months ago. So my first question here is why is WordPress.org doing nothing 18 months ago? So, so are they not enforcing any of the rules on WordPress.org? But let's just keep reading this. So 18 months ago, you started adding a few links in your theme. Themes are not allowed to have affiliate URLs or links or links. Now, I think every theme out there has links to Facebook groups, has links to other websites, has links to other products. So uh, I, I don't really know uh, what links means, but uh, when they say links, I can see that a lot of other themes have links to various other uh, websites. And uh, we have added this requirement more than 18 months ago. Again, why did WordPress do nothing about it for a year and a half? So, I mean, it just, it, it mind boggles me. If I had employees that were doing nothing for 18 months, I would have fired them, you know, like, duh, like this is common sense stuff. Uh, because of this, your theme will be suspended for the next five weeks until September 11th. So it looks like right now, Astro will no longer be allowed in the WordPress repository, but you can go ahead and download it again on their website. Now, I wanna go ahead and touch base on a lot of other plugins and themes that are violating the rules and how WordPress has done absolutely nothing about it, even after uh, WordPress has even promoted some of these plugins and WordPress still just doesn't do anything about this at all. So I, I don't blame the developers here. I really don't because uh, WordPress has just done a terrible job at managing their WordPress repository. So the developers have taken it amongst themselves to do whatever they can to make money. And here is Envato Elements, a very popular uh, plugin. And I bet you're thinking, no, Daryl, don't attack Envato Elements, but we are going to attack them. So uh, if you look at their template kits, they have a lot of different templates. Now, they actually recently changed this. They used to have 200 affiliate links inside of this but they reduced the fill links to like a few. So if I click on install requirements, it's gonna say you need Elementor Pro for this to be used. Okay, let's, let's install Elementor Pro. What's this? Please purchase Elementor Pro from here first. On the bottom left of the screen, you're gonna see uh, elementor.com slash pro what is that, Daryl? That is an affiliate link. We got them. We got someone. <laughs> so it looks like Envato Elements has, they've had a long history of breaking the rules and WordPress does nothing about it. So whatever, you know, and that's just how it's been. But uh, this plugin is clearly violating the rules. They have affiliate links inside of their products. So that's one, you know, that that's one to, to take a look at. Also uh, a plugin I do want to talk about that has a, a long history of violating the rules is WP Forms. So WP Forms has had a, like a long history of hacking the back end, and they also have links to other products inside of their plugin. So, I mean, that's one of the most popular plugins out there. And I don't mind the developers doing this at all. I don't really care. I just want WordPress to have rules. It's like, okay, you can do this and you can't do that. That's fine. Let's just work with the rules. I don't care if they have affiliates inside of their products. I really don't. We all want everyone to make money. We want these companies to succeed because they're making really valuable, great products. But uh, WP Forms, you know, upgrade WP Forms. So this again, it's just, it's it's hacked our backend. We can get rid of this, but it's installed by default. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, uh, campaign equals light, camp, uh, light plugin. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a link to purchase something. 
Monster Insights. It's now hacking the back end and telling us to install another plugin. Now, I'm sure you have installed other plugins that have hacked your back end and said that you had to do something. At one point, WP Forms was actually uh, over here. It was saying that it was required to work. And I think they got pinched for that a long time ago and they finally uh, fixed it. Also on the top right here, WP Forms. Now, this is debatable. But, um, you know, WordPress's rules is you cannot hack the back end. And I would say this is hacking the back end. I don't need the, the WP Forms uh, notification to be up there. You know, we have it right here. We have it right here. And then we also have it right here. We have three notices from WP Forms. So that's just my personal opinion. I don't think they're necessarily, they're borderline. They're, they're borderline there. You know, they're definitely borderline. But um, that's just an example of something that's kind of in the rules a little bit. Now, also, let's take a look at Trialware. So there are plugins in the WordPress repository that are trialware and that is clearly against the wordpress.org guidelines and uh, Zotabox is one of them. Now I recently got a, um, I just got a, a messages from my viewers and this plugin, let's just take a look at it. Uh, Zotabox is a premium plugin with a 30 day free trial. Ooh, we got another one. Yes, we were, we're two for two <laughs> or I don't know. WP forums is like two for three. They're, they're borderline, but we found another one that violated the rules. Now, my biggest question here is the people working at wordpress.org, do they even test these plugins? Have they even installed it one time, just one time to see if it's botting the rules? It looks like they clearly don't. I don't know what they're doing over there, but Clearly they need better management because they are not monitoring any of the plugins or themes. I mean, Ocean WP is like the number one most popular theme and they're buying the rules and we're gonna jump into that next. So let's take a look at the theme requirements. So the theme requirements is themes are not allowed to import content. <laughs> like, okay, there goes like there goes like 20% of the plugin or the, the themes out there um, that, uh, you know, that, that do that. A lot of themes do that. Now, a lot of these theme companies, they create separate plugins to kind of bypass that rule. But still, if the theme is, if the theme functionality is including themes to import demo content, why are they allowed to do that? Now, again, I have nothing wrong. I am, I am not against this whatsoever, but rules are rules and they're just not following the rules. It's like, okay, whatever, you know, I guess that's, I guess that's, uh, you know, I guess that's how it goes. And also, uh, themes cannot be used to install other plugins. Now, if you go to uh, Ocean WP or various other themes, there's Neve, Ocean WP. A lot of these themes require plugins for them to operate functional. Now, I'm not trying to bash them. I know they're going to message me and say, hey, Daryl, like, come on, man, you got to keep it on the hush hush here. But Ocean Extra is a plugin that you need pretty much for the Ocean WP theme to work. Also, uh, the theme grill demo importer from Zakra, you need this plugin to work or else the theme is virtually useless. So they're creating these themes and they're not really suitable uh, on standard like by itself. So they have to use these other plugins for it to work. Now, I don't really mind that. You know, these developers, they're all just trying to make money. They're all just trying to like, you know, feed their families, which is totally cool. But the issue here is that WordPress is just really not following the rules of um you know of their of their, they're just not following the rules for their themes i mean look at this right here themes cannot include plugins look at astra i mean you install the cart flows plugin i mean cart flows does not need to be installed with astra it doesn't need to be installed with it i mean it installs like 40 other plugins and so does so does the ocean wp it installs a lot of other plugins and um you know you don't need to put that on you know uh themes cannot require Themes cannot require plugins to work. I mean, are, are the people at WordPress even doing their job? So that is the biggest question, but I don't think it's really Astra's fault. I don't really blame these developers for doing it. I do blame WordPress for just not doing anything. And these developers, again, are just trying to make money. And it's like the Wild West, you know, whatever they can get away with, they're gonna do. But my biggest question is why does WordPress have a long history of doing nothing? I mean, it even says it right here, uh, more than 18 months ago. It's like, so they knew about this for 18 months and they did absolutely nothing. I think there needs to be a little bit better management over there at WordPress. Besides that WP governance program, which is just like a, a feedback community. I mean, I think they should just go public. They should just go public and they should have shareholders kind of influence management because clearly they are not doing their job. And this is a website I'm working on. So this is for a new e-commerce tutorial, but my rant is over. So let me know in the comments what you think about everything that I said. I'm sure you guys have had experience with plugins and themes that have hacked your backend, that have offered various other plugins to quote work, that have tried to sell you other products 
I mean, there is a long history of these plugins doing it. So uh, again, I don't blame the developers. I do blame WordPress for just not enforcing the rules. I mean, this is their platform, right? Like if I own the platform, I would want to at least install the plugin once, just once, just to see what happens. So again, hopefully this will all be fixed. Uh, again, you can go ahead and download Astra from their website and it'll be, it will be back in the WordPress repository September 11th. So hopefully after this, everything will be cleared up and all green. So let me know what you think again about everything I said. I have always said that WordPress needs better management. They have always just been so focused on selling their, their plugins for WooCommerce. I feel that they have somewhat neglected the WordPress repository because it's a free, you know, it's a free area. So uh, they, they'd have to hire someone to actually manage everything. But uh, seeing what developers are doing and how they're just not following the rules, I think WordPress needs to find someone to kind of hire someone just to enforce the rules. It's like, hey, you got rules, enforce them. Pretty simple, right? So again, my name is Daryl Wilson and I'll see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take it easy.